Hi guys, today we're talking about hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is used for a variety of things in plants, but it has a very wide use. Anything from like mild detergent to literal explosives, hydrogen peroxide is useful. We mainly use it to bleach our hair, but there's a ton of different uses. It's one of those things, it's a bit like diatomaceous earth. You assume it's like a plant, if you research it for plants, you kind of think that it's like a plant thing but then you realise there's a whole section of society that are like eating it. I'm not recommending that we eat it but it is a really good, essentially it kills bugs, that's basically what we use it for just in, vari in a variety of different ways. There's three main ways that we use it so you can use it as a soil drench and like quite a concentrated dilution. Concentrated dilution. So if you have some soil and you want to reuse it but you're not quite sure if there's bugs in it, pour hydrogen peroxide solution through it. Uh, and you can use quite a high concentration because there's no plant in it. You can also use it as a lower dilution. If you suspect that your plant has root rot, you can use hydrogen peroxide diluted to kill off the bacteria that cause the root rot. You can spray it on top of the soil to kill off mould and you can also spray it on the leaves as a pest eradication and to get rid of things like powdery mildew. When you go through all the things that hydrogen peroxide can do for your plants, it makes you kind of wonder why we don't use it more. And basically, if you use it too often, it can damage your plants. It is essentially weak bleach. It is H2O2, so it's oxygen. No, it's not. It's water with an extra oxygen that turns it into a killer, apparently. I got my lamp Amazon. I get the 3% one and it's food grade. And when you get it, it comes in a tube like this. Hydrogen peroxide reacts with the light and basically decomposes. It does something to the extra oxygen and we end up with just water. So keep it in this box and when you make it into a solution, here we are. In here, it looks kind of clear and like, it just looks like water. In its, so this is only 3%. In its raw form, it's light blue and more viscous. It's not, we would have described it as viscous, but it's more viscous than water. So yeah, when you're making a solution, put it into an opaque spray bottle otherwise. I don't know how long it takes to decompose, but you will just essentially be spraying with water. So I've just had a little look on Google to see if I could find out how long it does take to decompose. And all the chemists out there say it's basically like how long is a piece of string. It really depends on the conditions, but apparently 3% hydrogen peroxide diluted will last probably no longer than overnight if it's exposed to light. Using it once a week is fine but I wouldn't recommend using it more than twice a week depending on what you're using it for. Don't water it into your soil too often because it obviously can't discern between good bacteria and bad bacteria. The more kind of alive your soil is the more like beneficial microbes the better and it's basically like a antibiotic and it will just kill all the bacteria in its path. So just be careful of doing that. It can be good if you say you had a plant die or had pests and died and you want to reuse the soil, you can drench it with hydrogen peroxide diluted and that will kill off any kind of remaining larvae. It's also good for like fungus nut larvae, that kind of thing. If you really have an issue with those, uh, they die on contact with hydrogen peroxide. So it's a good way to get rid of it. Hydrogen peroxide is a very effective pesticide. Now, I see a lot of people recommending one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide to 240 ml of water. I, that is completely fine. However, I find with pest eradication, it can take quite a while. And if you're spraying twi your leaves twice a week with hydrogen peroxide, you can risk burning them. So what I tend to do is do one teaspoon. I do a teaspoon of water to 250 ml of water. The only reason I use 250 ml is because that's the size of my spray bottles and it just makes it a little bit easier. I don't have to measure it out. I can just put the water straight into the spray bottle and then a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide and then I spray my plants. If you want to use a tablespoon, that's fine. You probably can. That is what most people recommend. But in my experience, it takes quite a long time to get rid of pests. So if you're going to be using it consistently twice a week for a few months, I think just using a small amount is better. Hydrogen peroxide can be a great alternative to neem oil because it kills on contact. Neem oil doesn't, it affects the hormones of the pests and stops them from being able to feed and reproduce. So it's a longer issue. It also sounds like a worse death for the insects. So just spray your plant and then you're good to go. Root rot is caused by bacteria and hydrogen peroxide can be a great way to treat it. 
it isn't a cure it can be a cure but it's not a replacement for good care so if you end up with a lot of root rot you really need to get to the kind of the cause of the issue rather than treating the symptoms whether that's too dense of soil overwatering, whatever when you're treating root rot the reason hydrogen peroxide is beneficial is because the extra oxygen in the hydrogen peroxide helps the roots roots need oxygen root rot's caused by bacteria in the soil they're anaerobic bacteria so they thrive in an oxygenless environment. Root rot often happens because we overwater, the soil gets all compacted and muddy and there's just no room for air. Adding hydrogen peroxide in will give extra oxygen and boost the roots, but obviously you still need to sort out that situation. That isn't, that's just gonna, it's gonna boost it, but it's not gonna prevent a long-term problem. And the hydrogen peroxide also kills the, kills the bacteria and helps the roots. So you kind of, it's a, it's a dual approach. What would be perfect would be if we could just water all the time with hydrogen peroxide because adding the oxygen into the water really helps it, but you're killing all the beneficial bacteria. So yeah, you can't do it too often. What I actually prefer to do is to take the plant out of the soil and soak the roots in hydrogen peroxide. I would do a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide to 250 ml of water. It's usually a tablespoon to a cup, which is 240 ml for all my me measuring jugs do 250. The 10 ml of water either way really doesn't matter. If you have really bad root rot, so take your plant out of the soil and soak the roots in hydrogen peroxide and then also flush the soil through with hydrogen peroxide. What you can actually do a much stronger solution if there's no plant in there, so you can actually do like one part hydrogen peroxide, one part water and just pour it through and then let it dry out. I would keep the plant out of the soil for maybe a day or so just to let the soil dry out a bit and you can maybe add in some sort of soil amendment like orchid bark or something just to st stop the situation coming back again. You can also use hydrogen peroxide to get rid of powdery mildew on the leaves just use it like you would an insecticide and also mould on the top of the soil just spray the mould. People do use it to get rid of if the little mushrooms grow. I like the little mushrooms I think they're cute as, as long as you know it's because you've got nutrient rich soil not because you're overwatering and causing like a swamp then I I would just leave the mushrooms be they will eventually just like go back into the soil and they can add a little bit of nutrition back into the soil and they don't tend to get as fungus natty as if you just let leaves decompose on top of the soil so i hope this was helpful and not too scary hydrogen peroxide is like totally fine to use on plants just don't overdo it that is why i tend to err on the side of caution and only use a teaspoon of it i also tend to dramatically decrease the amount of fertilizer that i use so it might just be the risk averseness of me so yeah don't overdo it and make sure you keep it in the pot that it came in it should come in like a thick cardboard pot and put it in an opaque spray bottle so you can't see it in otherwise it will just end up spraying your plants down with water and also check the percentage of hydrogen peroxide that's three percent you could use six percent and just use less you know half the amount that we recommended but you don't need very much and three percent tends to be a little bit cheaper and you are less likely to damage your plant i do sometimes use it as a foliar spray every couple of months or so i will spray all my plant leaves down with hydrogen peroxide diluted one teaspoon just to stop anything if any powdery mildew is forming or rust spots or even like the start of like a spider mites infestation it will just kind of cut it off before it gets anywhere and it's just a preventative type thing it's not something that's necessary but if you want to add it into your plant care routine it's not going to hurt your plants as long as you're not doing it excessively i hope this was helpful if you have any other uses for hydrogen peroxide and house plants feel free to leave them in the comments you can use hydrogen peroxide on outside plants as well as inside plants it's a really useful thing to have around and i'm sure like if you google the uses there is a million different things you can do with it so it's definitely worth having thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye